Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn a lot of meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial, we are continuing with another important word called as technical debt. Technical debt can also be called as design debt or code debt if it is related to design or related to programming. But what exactly is the meaning behind the technical debt? Now, assume that you're talking about a development process where you were supposed to resolve an issue or probably create a particular functionality or feature and you had the way or the process which was involved in making that or resolving an issue was quite lengthy and complicated. And of course, you didn't have enough time, so you tried doing a quick fix for that and replacing that issue or of course getting that issue as a resolved one and pushing it to the market or probably to the customer. Now what's the problem in this and why should we call it as technical debt? For an example, for an example if you talk about uh, you know you have a kind of wall and a wall started developing a small crack. Now instead of going for a particular process to rebuild the wall or at least issue you know resolve that issue in such a way that it never happens again, we try to make use of some kind of you know POP or some kind of you know a solvent which just fills up the crack. Now of course tomorrow it will build up and probably that you know crack will you know maybe breaking your wall as well. So what we understand from this example that a quick fix is a quick fix but not exactly is the solution. So maybe due to the time crunch you opted for an easier way but does not mean that you can skip the real process because maybe at certain point of time later you would need the full process to be there. Now imagine again like for example there was a you know some certain problem which was reported by the customer and the customer said can you quickly just fix it for the time being currently now why right now I want the solution. So what developers generally do they try to quickly resolve this by hard coding certain values or putting up certain variables which will replace those and fix that issue for the customer but they know they mark it as technical debt. That means on a short run, this is actually the you know temporary fix. But of course, there is a process to resolve it exactly, but that's tedious. It's going to take some time. So not right now because I'm in a time crunch, but later, maybe when we have enough time, we will try to fix this issue with the proper process. Now that's where you declare it as a technical debt. There is something which is there uh, you owe to the software or you owe to the product sometime later. So that's what this technical debt is all about. I hope you got a good understanding of what exactly technical debt is. Should you have any other words with you which you want me to discuss, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context team. And thanks for watching the video. Happy learning.